Today, I'll show you how to change the color of anything, including how to make it black or white. Let's get started. If you'd like to follow along with me, I've included a download link to this image in the video description. The first step to changing a color is to make a selection of what you want to change. In this case, I want to change the color of the dress, so I need to select it. I'll grab the selection brush tool, and then I'm going to increase the size of my brush by using the bracket keys on my keyboard. Then I'll go ahead and click and drag to make a selection. If you ever select too much, feel free to hold down Alt or Option on your keyboard and then click and drag to remove from your selection. Once you have the selection made, go ahead and press Refine up in the context toolbar. For this selection, just pressing Refine is good enough to clean up most of the edges. So I'll go ahead and press Apply. So now that we have our selection made, we can change the color by adding an HSL adjustment. So I'll go down here to the adjustments and add an HSL. Then we can go ahead and change the hue shift slider a little bit to any color that we want. Once you've altered the color a little bit, you can close out of this dialog box and then deselect by pressing Command or Control D. It's important to still have your selection active as you're applying the HSL adjustment so that it's only applied to the dress. Every adjustment layer has a built-in mask, so you can see that where the adjustment is visible, it's white on this layer icon. Now would be a good time to make sure that you like how this mask is looking. And for this image in particular, there's a little bit right here and right here that is missing from the mask. So I'm going to grab the paintbrush tool and then I'm going to paint in white paint to add those areas back into our selection. If you paint too much, press X on your keyboard and that will switch your color to black so that you can remove from the selection. Okay, so now that we have a really good selection, we can double click on this HSL adjustment and we can really make this dress any color we want. By shifting the hue slider, we can choose a color range that we like and then you can use the other sliders to adjust the saturation and luminosity. The luminosity will make your color lighter or darker, and the saturation slider will make it more or less saturated. So now we know how we can change the color, but how can I make this dress black or white? We can completely desaturate the dress to take away all of the color, but now the dress just looks gray. And if I try to brighten this to make it white, we start to lose a lot of detail in the dress. All of the shadows become a little bit too light. And if I darken this slider, this also doesn't look quite right. The dress just looks a bit flat. So with the luminosity slider back set to 0%, I'm going to show you an easy way that we can turn this dress white or black. And to do this, we need to apply a levels adjustment. However, I want to make sure that the levels adjustment only affects this dress, so I need to load this layer as a selection. Hold down Command or Control and then click on the HSL layer icon. Then go to the adjustments and apply a levels adjustment. The levels adjustment lets us adjust the shadows, highlights, and midtones all separately. If you change the black level slider, you can see that we're starting to add more blacks to the image to add more depth to it. And if we adjust the white level slider, we're adding more whites to the image. If you want to affect the midtones, you can slide the gamma slider up and down. If you slide it this direction to the right, it's making the whole dress darker. And if you slide it the other direction to the left, the whole dress becomes lighter. So if we want this dress to look black, all we need to do is increase the black level. And then we can also shift the gamma slider over to the right to make the whole dress darker. And you can make this as dark as you want. I kind of like how this looks right here. We still have a bit of gray coloring, but that's just making the fabric look shiny. 
So I think that looks pretty good. But if you want a flatter black look, you can continue to darken this. And if we want this dress to be white, all we need to do is decrease the white level to brighten it up. And then you can shift the gamma slider over to the left to add even more brightness. I'm going to deselect by pressing Command or Control D. Now that we know how to make the dress black and white, I want to show you how you can use the levels adjustment and the HSL adjustment together to create almost any color. To start, I'm just going to reset these sliders. And then I'll click on the HSL adjustment to open up its sliders. So first, I'm going to try to make this dress kind of like an evening gown dark red color. So I'm going to increase the saturation again and then try to find a red color. I think that looks pretty nice. We can saturate it more or less. I think less saturation would give us more of a dark evening gown red. And then I'm going to decrease the luminosity. Can you see how this just doesn't look right? It looks very flat and it's just not the color we're going for. However, if we include levels into the mix, we can adjust the black level slider to deepen this red and the gamma slider as well. You can see how this looks like a much more realistic red. I'm going to go back to the HSL adjustment and I'm going to decrease the saturation a bit more. And now you can see that we have this beautiful dark red color that wouldn't have been possible without the levels adjustment. You can do this with any color. For example, what if you wanted a nice light blue color? Let's go ahead and try that. I think this color looks pretty nice and I'm just going to desaturate it a bit. Now we could increase the luminosity, but as you've seen, that just doesn't look quite right. So I'm going to open up the levels and this time, instead of playing with a black level and darkening the gamma slider, I'm going to decrease the white level to lighten up the dress and then move the gamma slider over. So now you can see we have this beautiful light blue dress, all with the help of the HSL adjustment and the levels adjustment. And there you have it. Now you can change your colors to anything, even black or white. If you want to learn more affinity tricks, be sure to check out my free course in the video description, where you'll learn 10 simple steps to make any photo amazing. Thanks for watching, my friends, and I'll see you in the next Affinity Revolution tutorial.